Welcome to State of Tech. Here's an iPhone 6 Plus tip for you. I'm going to show you how to set up and use Touch ID. Now the home button on your iPhone is actually a fingerprint scanner that you can use to unlock your device, use it to make purchases in the iTunes and App Stores, and also if an application from the App Store enables it, you can use Touch ID to unlock those apps. So we're going to come into our settings, we're going to swipe down and we see Touch ID and Passcode, which is right now in about the middle of the screen. Tap there, we're going to have to enter in a passcode. Now if this is your first time, you're going to have to create a passcode, but this is something I've already set up, so I'm going to enter in the passcode that I have created. Now that you're in here, you see Touch ID and Passcode. I can use Touch ID for iPhone Unlock, Apple Pay, iTunes, and App Store. And if I swipe any of those off, so if I were to turn off iTunes and App Store, it's going to no longer allow me to use my Touch ID for iTunes and App Store purchases, and I'll have to enter in my passcode. Now down below you see fingerprints. We have our right thumb, left thumb, left index, right index. All I have to do is tap add a fingerprint. You can have a total of five fingerprints in here. So I have programmed in both my thumbs and both my index fingers, and you can have it whatever finger combination you want to. If you're mainly going to unlock your phone with your right hand, you can have all five fingers from your right hand. If you're going to have just your left hand, you can have all five fingers from your left hand. It doesn't matter. The finger combination is totally up to you. I just chose this one. What I'm going to do now is add a fingerprint. And here it's telling me place my finger on the home button and lift and rest repeatedly. So as I do so, my phone is going to vibrate. I'm going to see this neat little animation letting me know that it's scanning my thumb. Now what I'm doing each time as the animation moves is I'm resting my thumb, I'm doing my thumb here for example, on my home button and it's going to scan in my thumb so that way I can use my thumb to unlock my device and do Apple Pay in the iTunes and App Stores. Once you get halfway through you're going to want to adjust your grip. What I typically recommend doing is if you're holding it in your hand the first time, maybe lay it down on a table and then do your finger that way so it gets a complete scan of your finger. It's going to make Touch ID way more accurate and easier for you to use and unlock your device. Tap continue and continue with your fingerprint scanning screen. For more iPhone tips, be sure once you're complete, tap continue and it's going to bring you back into the passcode options. Now I see I have finger five and add a fingerprint is now grayed out. If I tap on finger five, it's going to allow me to rename this or delete the fingerprint. So if I wanted to give it a specific name like I've done with right thumb, left thumb, I can do so. Or if I wanted to rescan in a different finger, I could delete this fingerprint five and now I can add in another fingerprint. Now whenever you use Touch ID, you do have to have a passcode. I've chosen to do a actual four digit passcode, but if you tap change passcode, you're going to enter in your old passcode and then a new one. And down below you see where it says require passcode immediately. Down below that is simple passcode. If I swipe that off, it's going to ask me to enter in my old passcode, and then I can enter in an alphanumeric passcode, which is a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. I can choose to do that as well to give me a little bit more security. So that is how you set up your Touch ID on your iPhone. And for more iPhone tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.